Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to your Wednesday class. Today's class is going to be majority restorative with just a little bit of vinyasa in the beginning. And yeah, all you'll need actually is a blanket and a block if you have them. They won't be absolutely necessary, but the practice will be enhanced if you have them. So when you have grabbed these, if you have them, meet me back on your mat. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set these aside for a moment. And we'll just come to standing all the way up on our mat. And then spread your toes wide to the mat. You can add a little space in between your ankles. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, float the palms back down. Another inhale, sweep them overhead. Exhale, palms come down. This time bend into your knees. Inhale, rise back up to standing. Exhale, baby cactus, gently lift your chest, send your hips forward. Inhale, extend the arms back overhead. Exhale, palms come together. Bow it forward, bend through the knees, rest your torso over your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten through the legs, and just gently float your fingers to the mat. Exhale, bend into your knees, plant your hands, come to tabletop. Untuck your feet, and just pitter-patter your feet onto the mat. We'll take a few cat and cow spinal rolls here. So sinking our hips back towards our heels, deep breath in. Exhale, dome the spine to cat. Inhale, drop the belly to cow. Exhale on a cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. few more of these. Last one. And exhale to a neutral spine in tabletop. Gently rock back and forth just to stretch your wrists out briefly here. And then face your fingertips in so that they're almost touching one another. And you can rock side to side. And then the base of your wrists come together. And maybe gently, very, very gently, micro movement side to side. Flip to the top of your hands. Maybe walk your hands a little closer to your knees. And gently maybe sit your heels or your hips back. Not all the way to your heels, just enough to stretch your wrists. And then roll up to your knuckles. And back to your palms. Inhale, sweep your arms up high overhead. Exhale, float the palms back behind you. Inhale, lift your chest here. Send your gaze directly up. And exhale. And gently begin to lift your chest back up. 
and we'll begin our restorative practice here. You can go ahead and grab your blanket and you can keep it rolled up kind of like in a burrito shape. And you'll place that right at the top of your mat. And then scoot your body forward just a bit so that your knees are maybe a fist width distance. You're gonna place your forehead on to the blanket. Extend your hands out in front of you. And you can either keep them there or you can thread your left arm through while still extending your right arm in front of you. Now that palm can face down or it can face up. And you also don't even need to use your blanket if you prefer to move the blanket out of the way completely. You may find that coming to the side, the left side of your head is a little more comfortable. Again, this is whatever feels best for you. And you'll just breathe here for a little while. and I'll be sure to cue you out of this posture when it's time. When you're ready, we can go ahead and switch arms. Taking whatever option you took on the left side, on the right side, or changing it up. And breathing here.
And as you're ready, you can make your way out of that posture and begin to unroll your blanket to about like a rectangular square. We're gonna bring it towards the back of our mat because that's where our knees are actually going to go. And you can bring your block to the front of your mat. Spread your knees wide to the mat. Be working our hips here. And your big toes will not come to touch. You'll actually want them separated from each other. And then you'll bring your forehead in contact with the block. And extend your arms out in front of you. Palms can face up, palms can face down, whatever is most comfortable for you here. And just spend some time breathing here. Be sure to release any tension in your jaw, sending some space between your teeth and removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Relaxing your face, relaxing your jaw. Press up through your palms and bring your knees in together. Bring your hips to one side and remove your block. You can bring it actually behind you for this next posture. And you can fold your blanket, or actually, now I'm gonna say you can roll your blanket up. <laughs> Your legs are going to go right over that. And it's gonna be used to support you underneath your knees. And you can take your block and moving into a modified fish pose. We're gonna take that, you can use it on either level that you feel. There's the lowest, the middle, and the highest level. I wouldn't recommend the highest level probably maybe the first or second level. I'm gonna stick with the first. And you're gonna place that block a little higher than your lower back. But of course, you're gonna feel out what feels best to you. Just enough to open the heart, relax your head back. And then you can place your arms by your side, palms facing up. 
course, let your hands splay out to the sides naturally as they would. I even find it really comfortable to allow my mouth to open up just a little bit, whatever feels natural so that I'm not forcing my throat closed, fo forcing my mouth closed, anything like that. Releasing any wrinkles from your brows. Again, totally relaxing your face, your shoulders. Anything that you feel you're holding tension within. As you're ready, you begin to use your forearms, your elbows to press yourself back up. You can remove your block, bring it towards the front of your mat, remove the blanket from underneath you, and this time you'll unroll your blanket and fold it over. And then you'll probably want to fold it one more time because it's actually going to be used as a pillow for your head. You won't need your block for this next posture and you can relax your head all the way down. Then you'll take your left foot underneath your right knee, flex your toes, and then step your right foot over your left knee coming into a twist, you can place your left hand on your right knee and your right hand out to the side. You can send your gaze wherever feels comfortable. And just allow gravity to pull that right knee down. 
You don't want to force it the entire time in this posture. It's just to guide it over with your hand, but then you can release it whenever you feel comfortable. And just allow time and gravity to move your body into this twist. You even have the option to goal post your arms. And just breathe here. Like back up and shift your weight into the right leg bending into the right knee left leg comes over the right right hand comes to the outer left knee left arm can go out long and allow gravity to move you into this twist you can even place your hands on your waist, on your hip, on your 
chest, whatever feels comfortable again. This is your practice, I'm simply guiding you. you're ready you can begin to bring your knees back up to center feet flat on the floor knees bent and move your feet to the edges of your mat and allow your knees to come in and rest upon each other so kind of having like a, a bow-legged situation in a way You can place your palms on your belly. And just spend some time breathing here.
And with this being our final posture, you can stay in this posture as long as you feel comfortable. But if you are ready to move on with your day, you can start with your breath, a deep breath in through the nose, and an open mouth exhale. can bring your attention to your mind, remembering that the mind is the most powerful thing that we have. Allow positivity to flow freely, allow love to flow freely, and know that your power is right here. Bringing attention to your heart, don't be ashamed of it, don't be ashamed to be maybe more sensitive or emotional. It's totally natural and totally normal. God loves us all with everything he is and he is love. And then bringing the attention to your lips to remind yourself to speak positively to yourself, to others, be mindful of the words that you say and especially what you tell yourself because what you tell yourself you project out onto others. You can find a deep breath in through your nose and an open mouth exhale release it out. And as you guys know, I had to do a voiceover for this class because the mic went out. But in this last part, I was just saying thank you so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed your class. And if you would like to support me um, via my future studio, I will leave the GoFundMe link down below. And if you'd like to support me personally for equipment and things that I need to constantly grow this channel, I will leave my Venmo and a cash app on the screen somewhere. And I pray that you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye. <laughs>